snow chains on. These ones got little spikes on them. My hands are freezing. <laughs> yeah. So, how do you do it? Good morning. So I fill up my little water jug with hot water from the tap. And then this is kind of insulated a little bit. So it'll actually keep it warm for about a day. So when I wake up tomorrow morning, it'll be warm enough to like wash my face and not be that cold if I use hot water from the sink. So it takes a little longer having to do it this way. Usually I fill it up in the hose outside for the summer, but Gotta do what you gotta do. So to make things easier uh, when I'm packing up for these trips, I usually use two go boxes, green and gray, uh, preloaded with all the stuff I'm gonna need. Uh, and then I also use two cameras to film. So I have my fancy camera that's on a gimbal and then I have my GoPro. So for this trip, I made the mistake of accidentally deleting the footage I used for the GoPro. Um, so there'll be some kind of gaps in the storyline, but most of the footage was taken with the nice camera anyways. And you also notice those, uh, those boxes are my snow chains. I didn't even bother taking them out. They're actually pretty heavy, not going to lie. Um, but we'll use those later in the trip. So stick around. Uh, they worked really well. I'm excited to, to use them and uh, check them out. <laughs> oh, you got a drone too? Yeah. Nice. After talking to you guys on... This is my second one. I crashed yeah. my first one. Did you really? Yeah. Oh, you got the Air 2S too? That's yeah. what I got. Yeah, nice. Yep. Yeah, so I might have to pick your brain on it. Yeah, they're a lot of fun. You still have that Mini? Listen. Yeah. Oh, you know what's nice about using this camera is it's got like the focus, so it's like focused on you and then the background's blurry. Yeah. And then I can focus on the, on the background now. Yeah. <laughs> Just put the snow chains on. This one's got little spikes on it. Check out the other side. Oh. Weston put his on too. He's got a different style, but his took a, a lot less time to put on. So there's it that. Pretty puny though compared to yours. Yeah, you got better tires in general though, so you can do better. See how they hold it up. Yeah. All right. There's tires. There's chains. And there's the view. This the snow is so powdery, it's not. 
had, man, I can't remember which one it's called. I had a version of theirs, and then I've had their regular stuff. It's pretty good. Did they have a rye? Because you're, you're talking yeah. about rye. Yeah, so they make a rye. It's like one of those small batch ryes or whatever. Mm -hmm. And uh, basically, they they age it in like Aspen wood staves. Go do ever aren't you? Well, the base camp, but we won't be camping in this. We'll be staying yeah, in we'll the village. We'll be staying in a tea house. In a, little, in a tea house. <laughs> He's setting up his little peasant tent. Now, I actually think it's a pretty cool tent, though. I'm not going to lie. You know what would be better though? You know those tents that have like the little hole for uh, they have the hole for what's it called? The like a like a little chimney hole? Yeah, yeah. For like oh, a wood yeah. stove. A hot tent. Yeah, I want to get one of those. Yeah, me too, man. I think that'd be a lot. That'd be warmer than sleeping in my rooftop tent, oh, even sure. even with the electric blanket. New business idea: rooftop tent that has a stove, so it's a hot rooftop tent. Zoom in on that. See if it'll focus. Oh, there it is. See, look at that focus. I mean, it's the snow's coming down. Let's see what stuff he's got back here. Got a little heater. Yeah, this is one of the, I can fit three people in there. No, that, I like that, that heater because it'll it's stable. So yeah. it's not gonna fall over if you have it inside your tent. Yeah. yeah. Got some firewood, cooler, a bunch of boxes, second cooler. There's plain stuff of boxes on boxes stuff on top. Yeah, so your chains are all like little colors. It's colorful. And they're self-tightening. Yeah, I saw how you did that. It's super easy like, to tighten. And then you close it and then yeah, very easy. Luckily with mine though, I didn't have to like set them up and then roll backwards or forwards or anything. You can still set them up without having to roll. Yeah, I wasn't sure if you're gonna be able to do that, but it worked out. I would have taken a video of it, but it takes way. It took me like 30 minutes to set them up. <laughs> 30 minutes to set them up. Out of the four buckles of ours, yeah. I mean, I'll trade you. The tent straight up for your, you know, the whole car. <laughs> <laughs> My hands are freezing. <laughs> I gotta stake it in here. Yeah, I think we're good. <laughs> good call. I don't know if the camera can see it very well, but I'll take it. I wanna get it. So, this is what was left over in here from the last time I used it. Put these down, and then there's these little, like, metal rods that come out and they attach to this and make stakes in. It'll like pull this down super tight. Okay. It'll look, like, it'll look less wrinkly. Yeah. It'll look a little better. Yeah. But you see what I mean here? This little like vent. Yeah. It almost looks like you're supposed to jam like a tube up there. <laughs> Fire pit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the ground's really hard. It's hard to dig. Yeah, so I actually got a. Uh, <laughs> I got a, a bidet. <laughs> I, okay. Okay, so, all right, go ahead. Yeah, so okay, I got no. a bidet, and the brand name is called Tushy. <laughs> and I was like, oh, this is gonna be great. Like, I'm gonna actually feel so clean. 
because I've used one before when I was in Germany. I was like, this is amazing. Like, I don't know why we don't do this in America. Yeah. And so I bought one, and first week, fun, right? But then what I noticed is it, like, shoots out too hard, mm. and it kind of goes everywhere. It feels a little sore. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I'm like, this, this little water jet is spraying a little too hard. And I didn't, yeah, I didn't like it. <laughs> so I stopped, I stopped using it, <laughs> basically. Her cousins have a cabin, and we got some music for food. Uh, a bunch of us some more. Yeah. Um, and like the, the next day, I was saying something about the toilet, and I'm like, the toilet's weird. It has like all these contraptions on it. And she was saying, like, well, it's because it has a bidet. I was like, what? This thing has a bidet? So me and Issa's husband went and looked at it, and I was down by the side, and I'm like, wait, so you just turn this? And Bobby was standing right in front of the toilet, so sure enough, it just squirts and gets him right in the face. <laughs> and yeah, all over the mirror. All the yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, it got the mirror and everything. He comes out and he's just with water. He's like, guys, look. Maybe you just need to turn the water pressure down. Yeah. So that, uh, that Norwegian explorer, he has these really... What are you making? Chicken Alfredo, fettuccine Alfredo, chicken, and some hot chocolate. Looks good. Nice and warm. Nice little sunset over here. See if you can see it better. And then we got these two losers over here. <laughs> <laughs> a little fire going now. Let's see if we can get nice and close. Oh, yeah. Got this hot cocoa. Yeah, keep the core body up. <laughs> He's filming me, I'm filming him. <laughs> Big camera, little camera. <laughs> Like why, like why Celsius? I guess it's kind of like you know, like the metric system. Would be. Celsius makes way more sense. Is it really? In my well, mind, when you're uh, doing I mean, calculations. Yeah. Well, That's I mean, right. I think when, it, when I think like zero, like, like oh, zero, it's zero degrees out. Yeah. Zero. So zero degrees Celsius is freezing. Yeah. That's kind of a milestone, right? And then 100 degrees Celsius is boiling water, versus yeah. like what, 200 and. It just makes more sense. Pictures, or not as much as they used to, but like it's all pretty nice. Yeah. It's, yeah. I wonder if it'll pick up our. Yeah. You don't want to see the same angle over and over again. If you ever watch a movie, each scene is three seconds long. Yeah. There's a new cut scene, different angle, same scene, but like different viewpoint. Yeah. Yeah. And Gotta keep I, her warm. She obviously didn't understand how much effort goes into putting together a video. She's like, wait, so he just went and set up that camera, came back, drove his truck through, or like, same thing, sitting around a campfire, like set it up over here, do your thing, set it up over here, do your thing. like. Watch this, it does it does selfie mode on its own. You just double you just triple click and then I triple click again and it goes back. It's not going back. Oh, there it is. One last video before we go to bed, right Lily? Right Lily? Well, there's our view this morning. I got in the truck to warm up all my camera gear. I tried using my camera gear the other day, or last night I mean, and it was like frozen and just like acting all finicky, so. It's important to warm it up. Let's see if I can turn this around. Alright, now we're in selfie mode. You see Lily? 
And it's just chilling there, sleeping. Let's go see what everybody else is up to. You guys awake in there? You guys are gonna miss the sunrise. Better shot. <clears throat> so, last night I used a 50 degree sleeping bag and then I put my electric blanket inside of it and then I used this rumple blanket on top of it and it actually stayed really really warm wasn't bad gig Hey Lily. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Lily. Just <laughs> <She> stay there. <laughs> Yeah, it takes forever to boil. Yeah. I love it. Those are those Sherpa ones. It'd be cooler if they were all white. Right? Because <laughs> they'd like stand out. Yeah. You gonna jet boil stuff too? I think so. I had eggs. So. Nice. Is this thing actually hot? No, it's not. You turned it off. Yeah, it's not even on. Tearing down the tents. I think with the eye camper, that's it. It's just like, yeah, done. done. Now the cover. It's the last. Stuff. Like it's literally two little pillows. You have to go all the way yeah. around the back. Yeah, which is kind of, it's tight because I have the, the back of the truck here. Like, to tip it over, like the make it worth it bar, I guess? Yeah. Is like having like the eye camper where it doesn't take very long to set up. Mm -hmm. Like, cause you're already spending a bunch of money regardless. Yeah. So just don't even buy a rooftop tent unless you're gonna get a good one. Right. I mean, this is decent, but it's just the setup is just terrible. Yeah. Yeah, there's, let's see, the hard shell campers that I'm aware of, there's the, the GFC Go Fast campers, the eye camper. And I think there's one or two others out there. Yeah. Uh, there was a cool one that I saw. I don't know if they it's still like prototype, but the sides of it are also hard. So it kind of has a hinge in the middle and hinges oh, and it in. Folds in. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. So when you come it down, it those fold in and it pops out. Yep. Yeah. So there's it like help with like wind noise. Yeah. There's no fabric on it. I guess if it's raining, it, I don't know what kind of material it is, if it'd be louder or not, but. Yeah, but you can see that was just kind of an effort. So, yeah, yeah. that's still easier than my tan.
All right, time to take the chains off. We'll see how quick and easy these are, how much of a pain they are. So far, so good. Yeah, that's like extremely quick. But then I just gotta find on the back where it disconnects. They're so colorful, like a toy. Yeah, they are like a toy. Right there. <laughs> I'm happy that I did get that. <laughs> <Little buck crack. laughs> you might have to drive yeah, it. Pull forward. Pull it. forward, yeah. Yeah. But I'll pull forward, but. You want <laughs> oh, here it is. Alright. So, not that, not that much longer than this. Still have to drive forward, though. Yeah. Alright, we're good. Thanks. Yep. <laughs> 